Hello everyone, welcome to Master Bun Channel. Today I'm going to talk about the second breed of Bun Bun. Remember last episode we mentioned that Bun Bun is actually a combination of two breeds like Harley Quinn plus Lion Head. And last episode I explained about Harley Quinn and today we're going to talk about the Lion Head breed. You know when I first think about this Lion Head breed, it just it just gives me such a cute feeling, you know. You know like like you know like big lions like you imagine you imagine now with me a big lion and like so fierce and like it's like preparing to eat you or like having the feel that it's going to uh, hunt you for food that kind of glare from a lion and you imagine it on a bunny like it's so cute it's so cute it's like it's like you me the the big version of the lion like and you and you compress it into a small tiny harmful lion head breed rabbit so yeah that's lion head so why is it called lion head because it's very very easy right because they have a mane basically lion head is a long fur breed they uh, mostly categorize or you can identify them through their appear appearance which is their mane so their mane will look like a lion but they are like a harmful rabbit which is just so cute and this breed of rabbit is considered quite new to the United States and they are only imported um, at 1998 wow. this breed is originated from Belgium and thanks to their cute appearance they quickly spread throughout the world uh, before the 90s, even uh, before they entered the United States. The lion head is considered a small breed which shouldn't weigh more than 1.7 kg which is also 3.5 pounds. Some lion head have single mane and some have di double mane. So this really depends on uh, what they inherit from their parents. So like my bun bun, it doesn't really have a very um, obvious big mane, right? But he also have this like fur around, like short fur, not, not too long because Lion Head is a long fur breed and Harley Quinn is a short fur breed. So my bun bun is a combination of both. So it becomes it's like a maybe medium length, medium length fur and it won't continuously grow longer and longer. Because Lion Head, one thing about Lion Head breed is they need to be groomed. They need to be fur every uh, need, sorry. They need to be groomed every single week, at least. At least this is the minimum, right? So, um, if you have a lion head and you are very free, you can groom them more than more than once a week, right? So, they really require grooming because their fur is long. So the most common color for lion head is like chocolate color, uh, or like chestnut color. That's their most common color. But as for my bad bad because it's a like hybrid, right? So he has the light uh, the sorry, he has the Harley Quinn color, but the lion head mate. So that's why he looks like this. But he's really cute, right? Lion heads are really friendly and affectionate. So that's why I said my bad bad with a combination of Harley Quinn breed as well. Harley Quinn is also a part of friendly breed. So um my Baba will come over to me and ask for head pads every morning and they really enjoy strokes, head strokes. Actually, a lot of rabbit breeds right, really enjoy head pads. If you ever have a rabbit, you, you, you stroke their head. I mean, if you are a rabbit owner, you definitely will understand. But if you do not have a rabbit, rabbit really love head pads. And it's so cute. Like sometimes when, when I give them head pads, they will like close their eyes and like they seem like so enjoy that kind of feel. And lion heads are also um, they will follow their they will follow you lah basically and they will come to cuddle and they are okay to cuddle basically and they are also a very energetic <laughs> breed they like to run around chasing things playing with their toys this kind of thing so they, they shouldn't be confined in a cage but anyhow I wouldn't advise anyone to keep a rabbit in a small cage because it really stop them from running around and getting enough exercise also um i mean just imagine we um, getting close in a confined area 
it's kind of like a gel actually so um, if your space allow and if your environment allow I really uh, encourage you to give them a bigger space to run around maybe you can still confine them but give them a bigger space or else you can free roam them which is the best uh, choice if you if your house condition allow like for example you do not have a infant or your house do not I mean if your house is rabbit proof enough yeah that's what I say for the lifespan of lion hair it's much longer than Harley Quinn it's around 8 to 10 years it's considered one of the longest life spread lifespan uh, among all the rabbit breeds and this is what I hope you know you know I hope like Baban inherit this this point this gene more from the lion head father is it a lion head father yeah um, yeah the, the lion head father more than his Harley Quinn mum so that he can stay a bit longer with me because Harley Quinn is only five to eight years right and and lion head is eight to ten so I wish that he has this gene more more of this gene in him so that so that he can stay longer with us because i really en en uh, enjoy his company and really like no matter how old he become you know like sometimes right people think that um babies are cute and small animals are cute like uh, baby rabbits baby dogs baby cats but when they grow up they might not look as cute as they are but as for rabbits, right, it just it just melts me every single time. Even though like he's like three three years old now, but he still melts me every single time. He brush, I mean he groom himself, and um he do his binky every single morning. Yeah, and I mean it's such a you know it's such a it's such a fun and enjoyable moment to have rabbits. You know I feel like every time I stroke. Grab uh, him or see him being so happy. I kind of feel like the dopamine rush as well. That's why maybe that's why I feel so happy having uh, da, da, da. see him and la, la, la. him being happy as well. So as this as similar to other breeds, so lion head also requires lots of hay as their diet, a small oh. amount of pellets and vegetables as well for uh, to increase the fiber because actually in general rabbit's digestive system is kind of like a pain point to them so they like to chew like different different things right? but they really need to build up their digestive system that's why hay is a very important thing like a fiber to, to help them digest and help them to poop well and if you and if you have a rabbit and your rabbit poop well basically it means that their digestive digestive system is healthy which is a good sign yeah. good job Overall, I think that Lion Head is a very, very friendly breed, and I do recommend it for first-time rabbit um, owners. If you haven't, if you're thinking of getting a rabbit and you have have not thought what you uh, which breed you want and all, you can consider Lion Head. It's really, really friendly and easy to train as well. All right, that's all for today about my Lion Head topic on. My band band breed. If you have any other comments or things to add on about this breed, please feel free to comment below, press the like button, and also subscribe to our channel for more rabbit content and to see more cute rabbits. Thank you, everyone. Bye. See you next week.